G'day guys, welcome to J-Man Speaks. So before I get started today, this is the third time that I'm actually recording this particular video because Big Daddy YT does not like what I have to say and unfortunately I haven't been able to get it through on the last few attempts. So um, if the title is a little bit misleading or doesn't uh, exemplify the point of this video, it's because I'm just trying to get this thing published. All right guys, so today we're gonna take a look uh, at an article from news.com.au, my favorite source of journalism. Um, this author is called Claudia Poposki, um, and I think she's going to win a Pulitzer Prize uh, for this piece of uh, world-breaking and um, standard-shattering journalism. So this is called Nurse Reveals While She Is Struggling to Find Love. Now, we can all just work out straight away what this is about. It's going to be some old boiler carrying on the men her age uh, aren't up to snuff, probably. And I can already go. A nurse and adult content creator has revealed how she has struggled to find love with men her own age, but men in their twenties are lining up. And now go figure. Why do we think that that is? Gee, it's pretty self-explanatory. Young guys would love to be with a woman uh, who does this sort of thing for work. It's a bit of a fantasy, isn't it? And also a point I'll probably make a bit later on in the video is young guys will do anything, you know? That doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Any hole's a goal, right? Any hole is a goal. Us older guys have a little bit more experience and we can see straight away the future and how this whole ordeal is going to wind up. Well, most of us anyway. There's still the uninitiated out there at our age, but a lot of us sort of know what the score is with these kinds of birds. They're 38, uh, alone, and only cans creators and complaining uh, that men ain't shoot um, for a reason. A whole life of bad decision making. A nurse and adult content creator has revealed how she has struggled to find love with someone her own age. But has men in their 20s lying about how old they are for a chance with her? Oh, line up, you lucky young boys. Haley Hooper. Now, this has been underlined um, and underscored and hyperlinked. I clicked on it. It's more or less almost an advertorial for her OnlyCans page, which I find astounding that they promote this thing on Australian media but these articles are very common i see a lot of them i saw this one i just had to talk about it because it gasses women's head up and it also promotes you know this lifestyle um which is really fundamentally what is wrong with the dating market uh, at the moment especially when it comes to the female side of the equation and in your 30s and beyond you know it, it doesn't hold accountability for women who have made bad decisions their whole life it's just excuses made for them man bad Hayley Hooper, 38, has been single for six years, but has found there are no suitable options when it comes to guys her age. Now, that's in quotes, so hopefully they're making fun of it. I've been single for six years, and some of my friends are telling me I need to lower my standards. But why? Everything I want in a partner is what I am and what I offer, she says. So there you go. I mean, this this line already, this this line of thought is what is wrong, especially you come on Bumble, um, Hinge, Tinder as a guy in your 30s. This is a lot of the time what you're coming across. You get these women who are 30, 32, 35, 38, 42. They still look good. They still look fine in the photos. And they're still on the dating apps and have been habitual dating app users for a long time. And you wonder to yourself, how are you as an attractive woman who really, if you were just half nice to a guy, would, would commit to you, would commit to you um, the next day, marry you, give you everything you wanted. How are you still single? And it is a lot of the time a result of bad choices. Bad choices in life, like only cans, uh, living it up, you know, um, hot girl summers, um, hoe phases, as I like to call it living the dream, doing what they want to do. And there's nothing wrong with that, but don't expect on the back end of that someone to come and swoop in at 38 uh, and take you off your feet and still think that you're of high standard and someone's going to save the day. Yes, there would be 100,000 dudes out there right now that'll probably marry her tomorrow, guys who don't watch content like this or have any idea uh, how the world operates. But they're not the guys she's going to be interested in anyway. The guys that she's interest, interested in probably have experienced women. And they know straight away from looking at her within five seconds, it's a no. No matter what, it's a no and the mind is not going to be changed. Another point they say is uh, dropping standards. 
I think that is the problem. It isn't so much a standards. When they say they have high standards, it means that they are obnoxious, obnoxious and oblivious to the point that they don't have the value that they're asking for themselves of the guys um, that they're trying to get on with. Right? That's just the reality of it. They get more angry, more bitter, more jaded uh, as time goes on because men aren't meeting the standards. And you know what they do? They don't drop the standards. They don't think, oh, well, hang on. Um, you know, maybe I'm asking for a bit too much here. Maybe I should just maybe do a bit of a self-evaluation, see where I'm sitting in life, and then think, okay, let's be realistic and uh, put the feelers out there for somebody um, who is my equivalent in life. No, no, no. Don't go and do that. Don't even suggest that. That's a... That's crazy talk. What you want to do, actually, um, this is how the female mind works, is you, know, you want to ask for more. You don't want to ask for less. You want to actually go, no, you want to double down, triple down. Let's go higher. Let's ask for more. We're not getting what we want now. The standards are too high. They're absurd. They're obnoxious. You probably wouldn't get them if you were 21, let alone 38. And you're going to raise them. <laughs> you can't make it up. She said she wants someone who is financially secure, independent, has a love of travel, and has a level of spontaneity about them. She said she wanted someone who was intelligent, set up, and fit. Okay, so basically a guy who probably doesn't exist in all those vocations. Let's break this down. Financially secure is going to rescue her from a lifetime of bad decisions. Um, she's probably been working as a nurse for her whole life. Um, she's also doing only cans. Do you think she's probably investing that money, saving it, um, you know, making use of it? No, it's probably getting spent in one hand, out the other hand. As we know, a lot of women operate that way. Get paid. Um, they've already worked out what they're spending that money on before it even hits the bank account. So it's financially secure. Insurance policy, superannuation plan. Don't let it be you, gents. Independent. Okay, she's going to want to do what she wants to do whenever she wants. You can't tell her anything. You can't put any sort of boundaries or limitations on her because she's with you. Otherwise, you are just um, insecure um, and you, you don't have any value in yourself. You're not a real man because you won't let her go out on um, girls' nights out and girls' trips to Fiji with her only cans friends. Has a love of travel and a level of spontaneity about them. So he has to be financially secure, so have everything battened down, but can also love travel, which means spending heaps of money on trips you don't want to go on to keep a girl happy, because she's not going to pay for that. When women say they love travel, uh, they don't love paying for travel. They like going at, um, because they've had an all uh, expenses paid trip from other men. I love travel means I love other guys buying me expensive holidays, and in return, I give them a bit of action. That's all that means. So if really, when you read that, guys, it means a lot of the time, it's just a transactional type of relationship she's looking for with a guy. And a level of spontaneity about them. You can't be boring. You can't be predictable. You can't be a normal guy with a normal um, yeah, routine in your life. No, you've got to keep things up. You've got to keep her on her toes. You've got to keep making her feel like it's the first date over and over again. Sounds fun, doesn't it? Not for me. You need to be set up and fit. So set up falls into the financially secure thing. House, everything under control, um, really no issues for her. She can just slot into your life. Um, she's made a lifetime of bad choices, but she can slot in with your life because you're a man who's made right choices, you've sacrificed, you've done all the things you needed to do to succeed as a man. Because as we know, men are made, women just, uh, especially if they're attractive, they just exist and they um, <laughs> they get a life given to them. All right? I'm not going to say all women, but the attractive ones or the over-entitled ones, that's how they live in this world. Men or most men are made. Right? We have to go through years and years and years of sacrifice, toil, hard work um, to get to be a point where we are seen as a top option for a woman. And by the time we get there, guess what? We don't want these ones. All right. She also said she doesn't want to have to quiet or change her personality in order to find love, saying the older she gets, the more she doesn't care if people like her. Fantastic. That just goes on to my earlier point, doesn't it? Become more and more obnoxious the older and older you get. Keep raising those standards and keep being more rude uh, about it. And be more combat <coughs> Sorry, guys, frog on my throat. Be a bit more combative uh, to men. Tell them and let them know straight to their face that they aren't stacking up. And if they have any issues with the requirements, they aren't a real man. They've got insecurities. you got to love this. It's just they don't learn. They don't learn. The internet has been around now for a, lot, a long time. You get these TikToks. you got channels like mine and many others saying, you know, they can pr provide pretty good advice to women if they want to listen to it. No, they just keep doing the same thing right? over and over again. Instead, she's finding men her own age are judgmental. 
have recently gone through a divorce or have a foot in the grave and doesn't feel like she doesn't have a lot of coin in them with them. Awesome. Yes, of course we're judgmental. We've sussed you out, especially when we've been divorced. We might have married that pretty girl who turned out to be like you when she was 38. You know, we married the girl when she was 21, 22, 23. We thought we were winning the lottery. We thought we were getting uh, the dream life. Like we, we, We've won Powerball, guys. We've won Powerball. And then she turns out to be an obnoxious, entitled woman who still thinks she's 23 when she's 38. We don't want that. <laughs> Can't make it up. Recently gone through a divorce and a foot in the grave. Well, we've gone through a divorce, guys. You know what's up. All right, you know what's up. You're emotionally unavailable. You're scared of commitment. You're scared of commitment. Oh, God. <laughs> and just because they're older, it doesn't mean their maturity level is there. For instance, Haley was casually seeing a 31-year-old for a while, but when she saw him in a club, he pretended not to know her. So she sees, casually sees 31-year-old Chad, so that's just 31-year-old Bryce Chad Stevo. He's got her behind the cricket nets, right? He's got her behind the pavilion. Late at night, he pulls up in the car, in the van, gets her in the back. No one sees her, just the possums in the tree are witness to it. That's it. No one knows about her. He doesn't tell anyone about her because he doesn't want anyone to know that he's gone dumpster diving that night. He's gone monster hunting that night. He's with his mate. They're having a drink. They're out of the nightclub. She walks past. They lock eyes. He's like, oh my God, I just don't want to deal with this woman. I don't want my mates to see what I'm getting into. Or I don't want to deal with her. I want to have a free night tonight. I want to have all the options at my fingertips. Because a guy who's doing that, um, he's probably going to have more options that night. She's just one of ten and he doesn't want to deal with her. All right? Avoided her. Fantastic. Well done, Steve-O. The Western Australian woman said she knows a lot of independent and successful women in not only her age bracket, but older who experience the same thing and also opt for younger men. So let's just break this point down. I'm doing a bit of a play-by-play today, guys, because it really does bring out the stereotypes if you read in between the lines. We don't care as men truly if all they have to offer is being independent and successful women their age. So generally independent means you're obnoxious, uh, you're rude, you're not going to adhere to boundaries, you're going to want to live the single life while being in a relationship and getting all the benefits out of the relationship. And successful women, well generally, yes there are some uh, successful entrepreneurial women who are good with their money, I'm not going to lie and I've come across them before, but generally when women say they're successful, they only talk about cash flow, they're not talking about asset bases and investments. Like we as men do, we have to build an asset base and investment base if we want to have ongoing wealth. Women see wealth or success as having a decent amount of cash flow coming in every month. They can buy whatever they want with and then by the end of the month it's gone and more money comes in on the next payday. That's what they consider as being a boss babe. But really that's just a normal person earning a wage and then boiling it. And they opt for younger men. Well, they don't opt for younger men. Younger men um, are drawn to them because the younger men can't get the hot girls their age a lot of the time, so they'll go for the old boilers, right? And the old boilers, they can't get a guy, you know? They can't get the um, uh, the Brycey. They can't get the guy who's well put together to commit or even go out with them on dates or being seen in public with them. So they go for the younger guy who's showing them interest. So it's like desperation meets desperation. They meet in the middle. Um, that's why this is a thing. I've just had a lot of young guys come up to me. I guess because I don't have kids at the moment or because of the work I do, I just have a fun energy. Yeah, no, they're looking at you just because you're an outlet, you're a flashlight, that's it. The young guys come up to me and literally lie about their age and try to be with me. But at least they're interesting and they've got stamina. Well, cop that, you guys, because if you're not committing um, or if you're not showing her genuine interest as a man who has their life together, you're not interesting, so you're boring um, or you're a dud root, you can't get it up. You're a... Uh, yeah, you're impotent. You've got no stamina. You can't perform. You know, that's the sort of thing they do. And that's another thing. I'm going to go on another rant, right? But women saying they men can't perform. Women don't have to do anything in bed. They lie there. They receive it. They lie like a sack of potatoes with a hole drilled in it. The guy's got to do all the work. So they lied there saying, I need a man here. You can keep up with me in the bedroom. Keep up with what? You just lie there and cop it. You know? Never understood that. She said they want to go out, dance, and bring energy and youthfulness. This is in contrast to men closer to her own age, who she said have baggage and are quite narcissistic. <laughs> you can't make that up. If they're not with me, you've either got baggage or you're narcissistic. You've got problems. I don't have problems. I'm perfect. I'm only only cancer creator at 38 and a nurse. We all know about nurses as well. Probably the most untrustworthy, unfaithful uh, profession out there when it comes to hooking up and cheating. 
They're a huge coward aspect with dating and it even gets worse, like ghosting. If I don't vibe with someone after the first date, I tell them straight away, she said. But older guys avoid that conversation and just disappear. I'm so over it. Younger guys are more honest and more fun. No, they're not, right? Um, those young guys are lying to you because they want to use you as a human fleshlight. That's all you've got to offer. One or two uses, uh, then you'll get discarded for the next one. Especially like a Steve-O who can get chicks. He's just going to use you up. Done. Gone. You know, it might gas you up, make you feel special, tell you are beautiful. Um, say, oh, I don't know how guys your age are interested in you. They've got rocks in their head. Whatever you got to say, you say to get the chick. Right? You gas them up and they believe it. There is a downside to dating younger. These men aren't in a position emotionally where Hallie would feel comfortable taking the next step with them. In particular, those in the 19 to 23 age range. But for those that are still a little younger than her, around the 27 and 28 year old marks, so a little younger, 10 years, that's a lifetime for a dude to be younger than a woman. Imagine when he gets to 38, he's probably starting to really come into his own if he's done all the right things and he's with the almost 50 year old boiler. They're starting to get their life together. She'll be open to, their, to settling down seriously with them. So she doesn't want the young guys as well, the young guys who are just bagging and tagging. She knows they've got, they got nothing. She can't rely on them to make their life easier. No, she wants a guy 27, 28. He's got the, you know, his house deposit together. He's bought his house. He's got his car. You know, he's going to make her life a little bit easier. She knows there's a bit of something to fall back on if things don't work out. She can just take that off him. Hilarious. There was a period of about a year where everyone I met or interacted with was 27. And that is the age where they start to get houses and careers. Absolutely, I would. There you go, you good little boy. You do all the right things. This is another point that I talk about in my other videos. You get these chicks in their 30s. They're still attractive, but they're looking for a mark. They're hunting you down, guys. Right? She wants someone who doesn't know any better. He's 27. He's just gotten in his house. His career's getting on track. He didn't always know better. That's, that's the target market, right? You're the mark because I can't get a guy who's 38 that's already um, existing um, as a man of value, as a man who's made it, right? If he's done all the right things consistently for 15, 20 years, he's going to be something. These guys who are just getting started after their university or whatever it is, getting their house deposits and stuff like that and starting to make a decent amount of dollars, they're the prime target. It doesn't look like it's working for her though. All right, she said for them, a lot of women her age can hold a conversation and have drive, but women their age are glued to social media and can be a little vapid. Yeah, coming from a girl who's got those pictures there, I'm not going to scroll up there because I think that was one of the things that keeps getting me banned is those bikini photos. But she got bikini photos, ass out, body out, boobs out. Oh, but that's not vapid. She has an only cans creator, but that's not vapid. Hey, can you make it make sense? Haley joked that she was living the life that most men her age would want to live. And that is probably the biggest cope. Sure, men would love to live a life where they get paid um, for showing their schlong on a camera or something, $10,000 a month or whatever they get, all right? But really, most men don't want to be living that life. Most men don't want to be monster hunters, all right? Most men would actually love um, to have a secure, stable woman in their life, right? As hard as that is these days, when you, cut, when you trim it all back, right, most men would love that. Someone who was a ride or die with them, um, who'd go through life with them and support them and, and he um, supports her in life. That's generally what they want, but there's too much risk involved. And that's why a lot of guys, especially as they age and see more and more, opt to probably not do that or really vet women out for years to do that. And women, as we know, are impatient and they can't wait two or three years, especially when they're 35, to work out if a guy is going to commit to one in any way. All right, guys, that's enough from me. I hope you enjoyed that one. It is slightly a little bit more censored than my other attempts, but I think you get the picture. Cheers.